The second week of the college football season is in the books for the BYU football team. They came into Lavelle Edwards Stadium taking on Weber State. No problems really with the Wildcats today as they win 45-13. I'm Jared Lloyd, sports editor for the Daily Herald. I'm here with Jason Franchuk, a football columnist for the Daily Herald. And Jason, what were your thoughts on this game? Pretty much a workmanlike effort. That was the word that uh, Mendenhall used a yeah, lot. Yeah, you used it before we even went into media room. They talked about it, and it was. It was one of those games you're just trying to get through. You're trying to manage it. You want to see guys play. You don't want to see guys get injured, and you want to start getting ready for the next one, which is a much bigger one than this, frankly, up at Utah next Saturday. Well, and that's going to be a really big game, but but just looking at this one, BYU actually got off to a slow start. Weber State made some plays early on and kind of hung around. Now, the offense wasn't able to do a whole lot, but BYU's offense struggled as well. Yeah, you know, the, the one part I take away from the offense struggling was they've got a little less than two minutes left. They've got one drive left in them, maybe get a field goal, get a touchdown, get something working, and what happens? Riley Nelson throws his worst pass of the day, interception on a fourth down and short play. They weren't all there, and if they weren't thinking a little bit about Utah, I think they're they're trying to kid us a little bit. But that's natural. I'm not I'm not accusing them that they shouldn't be that way. But they've got work to do. They know it. I talked to Nick Howell, the defensive backs coach, and he talked about, hey, they've got a lot to look at just off the flea flicker that Weber State ran. Why? Because hey, Utah ran one just like it the other night, and and they've got little ways to get this team going. I will say this about this team, Jared, though. This is a team maybe with the strongest form of quiet confidence I've seen in a number of years of this team. Just very workmanlike, like you talked about. A mature team like Bronco Mendenhall talked about. And I think he got what they wanted, even though they weren't as good as they can be. Well, and I think that is something to take away from this game. They really weren't as good as they can be. And I was actually a little surprised by the defense. They gave up over 100 yards rushing. And Utah State had some nice running play they were able to pick up some Utah short yardage. State. Get, excuse me, Weber State. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I, Jason? Yeah, but but Weber State had had some really nice running plays that uh, you know pick up some some third down yeah. opportunities and and against that front seven, I was a bit surprised on on how successful they were on some of those plays. Yeah, some nice running plays. Got the first I think 28 yard gain to start, and then BYU really settled in and crushed them for a little while. But they were a pretty good opponent. I, I think that's what BYU needed was a game to kind of get ready for the next one. And hey, let's. Let's face it, they at least, BYU does, they go into Salt Lake City next week in a lot better spirits than Utah did. Now, what's going to be interesting is Utah played an FCS opponent to start the year, and, and that didn't work out for them. I don't think that produced as much as they wanted to get better in the next week. We'll have to see how BYU responds that one, going on the road for the first time this year, and two, being ready off not needing to play nearly its best game. Well, that was all that BYU, no matter whether they played their best game or not, BYU came away with the victory, the 45-13 win here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. And next week we're going to be in Rice, at Rice-Eccles Stadium for the exciting BYU-Utah rivalry game. BYU is looking to overcome, you know, kind of erase the memory of that 54-10 game. They said they don't care about that. Yeah, I don't believe him. I don't believe him for a second. So, nose grew a little bit on that. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, maybe a white lie, or maybe they're just trying to put the best face on it. But BYU takes on Utah next Saturday night, Rice Eccles Stadium. Jason Franchuk, Jared Lloyd will be there. Looking forward to it. Next week, we're off to Rice Eccles. Cougars better watch out for the heckles. I'll finish that limerick next week. <laughs> <laughs>